All eyes are on the race for governor tonight. Incumbent Democrat Gretchen Whitmer is running unopposed, but five Republicans are vying for the chance to face off against her in November. Our Ray Strickland reports. The primary uh, race is um, a microcosm of what's happen happening nationally within the Republican Party. The legacy of former President Donald Trump versus the establishment in the Republican Party. Trump's influence continues to play a role in this year's elections, a strategy four of the five GOP candidates for governor used to drum up support for their campaigns. Tudor Dixon, Ryan Kelly, Garen Saudano, and Ralph Rebent. All of them are closely aligned with Trump and believe the 2020 election was stolen, but only one of them scored his endorsement. That's... Tudor Dixon. I always say I ran the first time and I won. Kevin Rinke is the lone GOP candidate to acknowledge Joe Biden as president. But for the other candidates, this year's primary is a test to see how far supporting Trump can carry them in the polls. But Trump's influence on the party is uh, still very strong. The former president's support can be what tipped the scales for Dixon, according to Ken Coleman, the director of the Center for Political Studies at the University of Michigan. And his endorsement of Dixon uh, was able to make her stand out. But will an association to Trump be enough to defeat incumbent Governor Gretchen Whitmer in the general election come November? Corwin Smith is the chair of the political science department at Michigan State University. He says the GOP nominee should broaden their message to appeal to all voters. There seems to be a lot of rehash of 2020 instead of a focus on what's in the future. And that sort of it's puzzling in some ways because there's a lot of stuff to focus on in the future. In Detroit, Ray Strickland, Detroit Now News at 10.